Murph was with me. I mean, what's your name? Uh, damn it. Shit, I took my tongue and shit. with the new guy you seem to know a lot about him you're not getting anything out of me do you know how many cops I've killed I ain't scared of you no Tell besides me. I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant 
Then get ready for a Chunk meltdown. Chunk it out. Oh yeah. If you think you're gonna get anything, that's quite a grip you got there. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> you want to? I could have whacked your punk ass. I'm supposed to interrogate him, dude. What do I do? How do I interrogate the motherfucker, bruh? Knock yourself out! That's not even mine! Ass, nigga. Yeah, he let out here. Scanning ass here. I'll never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. <laughs> no, this is a grab. Screw you, bastard! That is not a way to treat a famous person! That's enough! I'll talk! Mm hmm. I just wanted to do this shit yesterday. He's ready to give me his signal as the new guy. Sir, man. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Oh, motherfucker. Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take my rising star and join us so we can exchange partners? Hey, yeah, Jersey's gonna be... Fucking inch away from now? dying. The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up. I am, punk. Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. It was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Well, I need some flu. Got to take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, I see noob, noob, noob. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Lucky I'll throw you through the wall. And just say, hey. Why are you at me? No, no. Just had to do my duty. Whack the motherfucker. What are we stopping for? Huh? Has your battery drained or something? Yeah, obviously, motherfucker. Why don't you hurry up? Goddamn fucking room inside a room inside a room inside a room. Lewis? I'm alright, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. Dog. I think you're reading 
the situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Uh, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Yeah, Short smoke that nigga. Watch. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Just keep your mouth shut. Them wanting more. It is. That's lighter you got there. <clears throat> Murphy. Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with money. Oh, yeah. uh. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my Your brother, brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, oh, Clarence Bodiker. Great That's your brother? What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head. Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking. Why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! Oh, no. Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready. Switch him back on already. Dead or alive. Coming with me. Lewis! Whoa. Robo. Calm down. He'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not going to happen. Instead, you're going to go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning is obviously persistent. So, doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny. In that, you don't have any. You either comply, or you'll be dismantled. I'm only really rooting for one of these options. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session in any way, I need everyone that isn't my client to leave. That is not negotiable. And is nah. it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, 
and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? <laughs> My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I'm not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine well, it comes a whole in lot handy of shit. in your line of work. It does. I agree that something is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. It does not matter. Since I'm here to treat your human side, I'll refer to you as Alex Murphy, if you don't mind. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I am a cybernetic organism, a fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully.
Do not say I did not warn you. Consider me warned. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're ah. not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. This hand. You must have wondered what happened. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Since that day, I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear malfunctioning machines? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I thank you, Alex Murphy. Done. Robo, there's something I need to show you. Now for something positive. The daughter of Jens Danielsen, Prime Minister of Norway, who was brutally murdered during last year's parliamentary session, is expecting a baby. It's a girl.
Yeah, yeah. Young yeah, Jay and his bitch. Be right back. All right, go on. <laughs> My bad, man. I fucking went out outside the room and shit without fucking pausing and shit. All right, go on.